This is the case of G4S Cast Solutions and Powell. Mr. Powell was an engineer and he suffered an injury where he had a back problem. He could no longer do his role as an engineer. He had a disability which was covered by the Equalities Act, so they had to look at reasonable adjustments. They decided to put him into a new role that had been formed of key runner. It was paid at the same rate. A year later, they looked at this role and realised that it was being paid way too high for what it should be. So they were going to decrease the pay, do it as a restructure, decrease the pay by 10%. Mr Powell said, um, no, that's not what I signed up to. You put me into this role a year ago on the same pay. I want to receive the same pay. He didn't like it and he resigned and claimed constructive dismissal. The Employment Appeal Tribunal agreed with his position that being paid a senior rate for a more junior role can be capable of being a reasonable adjustment. So it's already been the case that if you have um, somebody who can't do their role and there are other roles available that you really should be putting somebody, considering putting somebody into a different role, even if they aren't the absolute best candidate that you can get. When we're looking at reasonable adjustments, it's not that you have to do it, it's that you have to consider it. And so now what they said in this case is, is that this circumstance is capable of being a reasonable adjustment, something which you can be under an obligation to consider. Now this was very fact specific. In this case they looked at the fact that they, he'd been in this role for a year, he'd been paid at that rate for a year and he had a reasonable expectation that that was just going to continue. That had always been the deal. The only argument that the company could put forward to say that this shouldn't happen was that it might upset other employees. And they, the tribunal did not find that as a sole arg argument to be very attractive. And they also took into account the size and the resources of G4X. So in terms of how we take this back to our practice, because we've certainly already had unions who've been raising this to say, you have an obligation to pay this person the same. In no scenario is there an obligation to pay this person the same. When it comes to reasonable adjustments, there is a duty for you to consider it. So you need to take into account the size of the organisation, which some of you will help. Um, but for those of you who are in larger academy trusts, you're going to be in a more tricky situation because you can look at just that school budget, but I think the tribunal, if pushed, might look at the budget that you have across the whole organisation, which turns out to a lot of money. Um, so you need to balance it, and I think my first point would be don't allow somebody to do it for a year before you try and change your mind on it because that's not going to help you.